Hi, my name is Paul Mabry and I'm the president of the Cross-Examination Debate Association, or CEDA. I speak to you today on behalf of the Cross-Examination Debate Association Executive Council. Recently, CEDA celebrated the conclusion of the college policy debate season with the CEDA National Debate Tournament hosted at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. After four grueling days of competition, the team of Corey Johnson and Amina Ruffin from Towson University emerged victorious as the 2014 CETA National Champions. They defeated the team of Rashid Campbell and George Lee Jr. from the University of Oklahoma. In doing so, Corey and Amina made history as the first team of two African American women to win a college policy national debate championship. They finished the CETA National Debate Tournament first out of 170 debate teams en route to their CETA National Debate Championship. Instead of spending the month since the CETA National Debate Tournament celebrating their victory and reflecting on their historic moment, they have been on the defensive. Stories have emerged attacking the champions from Towson and finalists from Oklahoma for their argumentative choices and style. These stories should not even be called stories. The stories lack research, integrity, and represent the worst of our human bigotry. These attacks on Towson, Oklahoma, and others in our debate community are motivated by racism and fear. These attacks are reprehensible, despicable, and must not be tolerated. CETA is unlike any other competitive forum. It uniquely enhances students' research, argumentation, and advocacy skills. Many people may think about debate narrowly as training for legal careers. However, debate as practice provides students with a much broader skill set. Debate trains students to succeed in any career path, from teaching, researching, activism, policy making, or the law. The format itself is debatable, which teaches skills and advocacy that no other activity can match. One of the ways debate maintains this flexibility and training is by limiting the number of formal rules and encouraging debaters to create the world of debate that best serves their needs and the training they desire. Debaters can advance arguments favoring a particular set of norms, but must be prepared to defend proposed norms against other alternatives advocated by their opponents. While in some competitive forums, students are beholden to one interpretation of the game they play, the ability to innovate in actual debates is a feature of CETA debate. Rates of speed, styles of delivery, types of resolutions, interpretations of resolutions, and paradigms themselves are constantly changing, creating a uniquely challenging format for all debaters. To an outsider, this contestation may be confusing, or frustrating. But in the academic world of debate, this contestation is what makes the activity innovative. The ability to innovate is necessary to be successful in any field, and debate trains innovation better than any other activities. The stories attacking the innovation, skills, and intelligence of Towson and Oklahoma in that final debate round are nothing but thinly veiled racism and in some cases, extreme cases of racial bigotry. What Towson, Oklahoma, and many before them have done is to raise the level of excellence required to be successful in debate. And not just in competitive college policy debate, but in their respective schools as students and in their communities. Thank you, Corey, Rashid, Amina, and George for continuing to fight struggle and succeed as others wish to tear you down. I am sorry you have had to experience this and that CETA has not done more to support you and your efforts. Today, I propose that we launch the CETA4 campaign. Who are the CETA4? Corey, Amina, Rashid, and George, who are currently being criticized and personally attacked for their hard work in the CETA finals and throughout the season but they are also being attacked for representing a different style of debate. A style that challenges, innovates, and asks questions that many in our community and society are not ready to grapple with. 
we must let the four debaters know that we stand with them and support them. We will never have the time or other resources to respond to each and every attack made against members of our community. And nor should we respond to every act of offensive racism. We must not aid in circulating their ignorance, bigotry, and violence. However, we must also not let their stories continue without our perspectives and our voices. We must flood media, social networks, and other spheres of influence with our overwhelming messages of support. Please take five minutes to do a few things. First, create a brief video introducing yourself and your support for the CETA 4. For example, my name is Paul Mabry, and I support the CETA 4 because they represent what is good about debate and the future of our society. Or, my name is Paul Mabry, and I support the CETA 4 because racism has no place in our communities. Obviously, feel free to speak at length for your comments or support of them. Then please upload your video to YouTube with the tag CETA Debate and CETA 4. This will help ensure that when people search for commentary on these controversies, the support for Corey, Amina, George, and Rashid comes through loud and clear. Second, take a picture of a sign saying, I support the CETA 4 because dot 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 for whatever reason you choose. You may choose to show your face or just the paper with the support. Consider changing your profile pictures or images online to this photo. Third, use the hashtag, hashtag I support CETA 4 on Facebook, Twitter, and your other social media networks. Finally, Please share these photos and videos with everyone you know. We want you, Corey, Amina, George, and Rashid, to know that there are thousands of us who support you, who thank you, and that these acts of racism are unacceptable. Further, we want others who may follow in your footsteps to know that there is a place for them in the debate community. Thank you for taking the time to listen and engage. My name is Paul Mabry, and I support the CETA 4 because they deserve better.